welcome back to What RT Noobs with General Disturbance. This is a special video. This is our 3,000th video and it's a very good one to watch. So uh, buckle up and uh, you'll enjoy this. You are looking at a KB-2. It is the Tier 6 Soviet Heavy and it's on the south spawn of El Haluf under the command of I-8 Tokyo. And battle has started. Well, the tank that is known as the Stalunk tank by uh, Jingles because of that 152mm howitzer and the fact that it's made of Stalanium is on its way down to the uh, northeast corner accompanied by a couple of uh, his teammates. Well, he's getting an assist which is very nice and uh, that's by a uh, Jumbo Not often you see that sort of uh, friendliness from uh, other tank drivers, but I always tend to do it myself actually, because um, if you've got a slow tank and it's a, a good part of your team, or rather a needed part of your team, you want to push them to get them to the right place quickly enough so they can take part in the battle. Okay, well we're coming up. Nice contingent coming up here. Oh, that EC-8 just drove into the wall. Obviously had one too many bevies. And there's an awful lot of uh, jostling going up up front. A queue for the uh, best positions. I-8 Tokyo's not particularly worried. He's got one mark of excellence on his barrel, so he's obviously played this quite a lot. And the fun is about to start as you know what's coming there's a few derps in line for the enemy okay, he's looking towards that corner just in case and we've got Artie in, incoming oh and the enemy are camping now this is an encounter game it's locked on to an easy 8 fires around and gets 384 now you notice how he did that auto aim just drove up until it locked and then fired, bang, shell went in, got a nice hit on the target. Now, there is a fairly good gun depression on the uh, KV-2. What's next? Oh, well, there's an IKV-103 up there. Is that going to be his next target? Well, maybe, maybe not. That Churchill 3 looks rather inviting. In fact, it's not alone actually, so maybe the 103 are floor. He's locked on and it's killed before he can shoot. But he was noticed, so yeah, he's going to have to go around the corner, I think. KB-85, first target. There we go. And he gets 368 hit points, but he does take a round from the KB-85, 147. Not sure where that went in. Oh! Right, okay, yep. Now, get another shot. Loaded. Now, and yes, takes the KV-85 out of the game. That's his first kill. Dicker Max is uh, giving as well as he gets. But we're two tanks down at the moment. He's just waiting for the reload to go in. It's 19.81 seconds on the reload. Well, it looks like that Churchill team is backing away. But he just takes out that Super Jumbo or that um, M4 Jumbo. Rocking backwards and forwards using the Dick Max as a shield, actually. But that's perfectly okay. So, two kills. Now, they've been getting resets on the cap. He stood there. Oh, that was a round from the M41. I think he narrowly missed getting a lot of damage. That was only uh, 211. Oh, takes out the Stug 3 for 17 hit points. So that's his third kill. Not exactly sure where that round from the M41 actually struck. Okay, Hellcat up, up top, top. He's locked on. Dialing in. Yes! Got him! 306 and that's his fighter badge. Four kills. It's a T67 over the other side. 
Can he get shots? Yes, he can. Dialing in. He's still not loaded. Five seconds to go. If he stays there, he's going to be dead. Yes! 360 hit points, and he's got the high caliber now. So long as he keeps up this fire rate, that's his fifth kill. One more, he's got a top gun. He's backing up. Looks like we've got control of the cap at the moment. We've got two in the cap. Guarding this area for the moment. Oh, T67! And yes! Oh my god, what a shot! 360 hit points. It's a one shot on that uh, T67. And that was his top gun. What a shot! Okay, another shell going in. It's got plenty of them. 26 HE left and two premium rounds. Okay, looks like he's going to join the uh, Panzer 4H. There's only two of them left now. The enemy still have five tanks though, that's the problem. Now, where's that Panzer 4H gone? Well, he's going off hunting. Well, that might not be a very good move. Ouch, that was the M41 again. Oh, we just lost the Panzer 4H. But it does mean that if he can win this, it's a collar battle for all the cards. This is going to be difficult now. Oh, M4. Oh, beautiful. 2-6. But he's getting into the dip. This is going to provide some cover, but the enemy will know where he is. He's underneath the waterfall. Coming down from the mountain. Oh, oh that's the M41. Yeah, that was inevitable. He know They know where he is. So all the M4 has to do is keep firing them over. Going for the M4. Yes! 164 hit points now. He needs to get into cover again. He's got his Radleys. There are two enemies left. There's a potential. Pool sped on the cards. Ouch! That hurt. That was the uh, easy 8. But he's very low on hit points. He's only got 110. And of course we know that the other enemy is the uh, M41. And that was another round nearby. Stunned him. He's down to 136 hit points. He's loaded, ready to go. Can't see the EC8 at the moment. We don't know if we're still spotted. Well, we have to assume that it's probably not. Yeah, because that round from the RT hit the wreck behind him. So I think the M41 is now guessing where he is. It might be a better idea for him to actually uh, get behind this rock. I suspect the EC8 might be coming around the uh, other side to get behind him. Nothing yet. He's checking. It was very tense. He's done 2,440 hit points of damage so far as we know. 30 capture points up so far. Of course, he has been reset, so... That might happen again, because the M41 is still firing in. See when one of the RT rounds hit him. Oh, there's the M EZ8. He's been spotted. Okay, can we derp him? Well, if he comes out from behind that rock, the EZ8 probably knows where he is, though. That's the problem. If he did see him for the briefest moment, then the M41 will know where he is as well. But the M41's not firing, so maybe he wasn't seen. Oh, yes, he was seen. Yep, so the M41's going to be shooting very shortly. Got the wreck between him. Can he fire in? Yes, he gets him! 
110 hit points. That was a massive shot there at range. Oh my god, that was incredible. But now he has the M41. He's stationary to go unspotted by the M41. He can now choose his position and the M41 won't have a clue where he is now. I'd be very tempted to go around the other side of the rock and wait for the M41 to come into sight because he's got very poor view range. There he is! Lock on. And he takes the Golubad off and the Bulls medal and wins the game. What an epic battle. Fantastic. I ate Tokyo. Just ate the enemy team. Fantastic work. Let's have a look at the end of battle stats. Oh, look at this. It's an eighth tanker for I8 Tokyo in the KV2. He got the hand of God for surviving the battle, having received damage from four different enemy tanks. The Bruiser for getting at least five critical hits. He got 29. He, he got a Judas badge for taking down two enemy who did damage to him. A fire for effect for doing more damage than the hit points of his own vehicle. A Collar Banoff medal, the medal that everyone would like to get for surviving and standing alone and winning the battle against five enemies. And he also picked up a Pauls medal for getting 10 kills. He got 10 exactly. A high caliber for the highest amount of damage. And the Top Gun for getting at least six kills. That was absolutely brilliant. Well done. Let's have a look at the team scores. <laughs> Just look at this. 2,780 hit points of damage. Double the next highest scorer, which was the Dickamax, with 1,142. Oh, jeez, that's fantastic. The highest scorer on the enemy team was their M41. He only managed 802 hit points. Uh, when it came to kills, he managed to get 10, of course, which was five times the next score of the next highest scorer in the game. Um, and when it came to base XP, just look at that, 1,491, more than double the next highest score, which is the Dick Max with 667, and then we have the uh, Jumbo with 535, wow. Let's have a look at detail, 12 shots fired, that's all he fired during that game, 12 shots, but he got 12 direct hits and 12 penetrations did damage of 2,780 hit points, of which 6, 666 hit points were at more than 300 meters, including that epic last shot on the EZ-8 to take him out at range. Six hits received from the enemy, four of them were penetrations, two non-penetrations, and two as a result of splash from the M41. He blocked damage of 250 hit points during that battle. He also spotted one enemy vehicle, the M41. He damaged 10 of the enemy, two-thirds of the enemy team, and killed 10 of the enemy, two-thirds of the enemy team. And he also managed to get 76 capture points right at the end when he shotgunned that, uh, um, that M41 at close range. Oh, my God. Premium account, he managed to get 45,972 credits. He got 22,986 credits for personal reserves and 6,896 for personal missions payout. Came to a total of 75,854 credits in total. And after repair and ammunition resupply, and remember the ammo is fairly cheap, he still walked away with 62,172 credits, which is an epic game for the KV-2. He received 2,237 XP, times 3 for the first victory of the day, got a personal missions payout of 336, meaning he took away 7,047 experience points from that battle. I, you know, I couldn't have received a better replay for our 3,000th battle than this one. The KV-2 is horizontal artillery. I know a lot of uh, arty players who love to play this tank because it is just so much fun being able to derp somebody at close range or even firing at long range and taking somebody out with a 152mm round. But this was one hell of a battle for our 3000 video. So congratulations, I8 Tokyo. That was a really brilliant replay and I so much enjoyed it. If you enjoyed it, please give this video a like and do subscribe to our channel because we have great videos like this all the time. And uh, hopefully it will be your video that I'll be doing in the next one.